Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Let's talk about the new economies that is due to hit in the next update. I've already seen quite a few moaning and groaning about this already, arguing that it will allow inexperienced players to breeze their way even faster to the top tiers. And let's be honest, that's a reasonable view, really. Nevertheless, let's not forget that this is also a game and it's designed to appeal to all walks of life not just those who have the ability to spend a shed load of real life cash at the game yet you can throw real life money at the game and get credits or those who are super skilled enough to earn credits in the top tiers and there are a fair few of those out there so what exactly are wargaming planning to do well they did a trial run for tanks in tiers 5 and below whereby the cost of HE and repairs was completely removed, and now they intend to roll that out across all the tiers. Not a bad thing, methinks, and it should certainly appeal to the free-to-play players that are out there. Not only this, but they're also introducing bonuses for specific achievements. At the, at the current time, they are planning to roll it out for Ace Tanker, Top Gun and Kolobanoff awards, and hey! Why shouldn't we be awarded more for doing more? Again, this makes perfect sense to me. And it also incentivizes me to do my best. Because now I will get rewarded with not just a little ribbon or a medal for actually doing my best. Personally, I think the planned new economy will be a good thing for the game. I mean, it's not like Wargamer removing anything from us. Quite the opposite. How many times have I heard from players that it's a pain not having credits and now to an extent that pain will be slightly annulled. It won't have the effect, at least I don't think it will, of allowing inexperienced players to tear rush any faster than they already do. In fact, it may have the effect of making players more competent in order to grab those additional credits for those achievements. I'm also a huge fan of AFK players getting nothing. Because at the end of the day, gaining experience or even credits for being AFK, but you also happen to be on the winning team, was always unfair in my book. Now, across all tiers, AFK players will receive nothing. In fact, they're more likely to lose credits, which is a good thing. And it's a positive move made by Wargaming in trying to combat those who are consistently AFK. I see no wrong in what Wargaming are planning to do here. In fact, I only see upsides. I see a mechanism that will assist in retaining players, that doesn't place a huge burden on the three-to-play player base, that rewards players for their hard work. It will encourage players to do better, and it penalises those who are always AFK. Plus, as an additional bonus, and to an extent, it also removes the need to throw real-life money into a game in order to grab some credits. Yes. There are downsides. There always will be downsides. But those downsides are outweighed by the positives, I think. And whilst you may all bemoan that I'm merely Wargaming's mouthpiece because I happen to be a CC, something that I'm not, by the way, i.e. a mouthpiece, I am a CC, I do like the fact that Wargaming are considering ways to make the game appeal to a broader spectrum. Plus, I like the way that they are actively looking to reward players who do more. As I always say, this is a game. It's not restricted to those with light blue or purple win rates, or those who have 3000 average damage. It's meant to appeal to all types of players, and the introduction of things like this will certainly do that. Don't get me wrong, you will still lose credits of course, so don't sit there thinking you can roll out in tier X as a complete potato and grab a shitload of credits, because that ain't gonna happen guys. Only repairs in HE are removed. If you play like a melon, shoot only premium ammunition, and then lose, you will certainly lose a lot of credits. You won't gain them. We therefore need to look at the positives, rather than default to the negatives. The introduction of this new economy will certainly assist more players, and it certainly rewards those who are more active, and do their very best. And in that respect, what's not to like? Anyway, I've been Fujit, 
That's been my take on the planned economy as that's coming in in the next update. By all means, comment in everything below because I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. And until the next time, remember, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking because that, at the end of the day, is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.